This was uh, something we discovered after talking to a lot of our renal colleagues. We were part of some of the pivotal trials for some of these medications like sulpercatinib and entrectinib. We noticed that a lot of patients' creatinine would increase when they would start the medication. They would have holds and a lot of workup send and nothing was found. And we realized it's because these medications affect these transporters in the kidney which can cause a false elevation in the creatinine while their true renal function isn't changed. And so we wanted to look at all different TKIs and see if there were this was more widespread. And we found many of the TKIs that we commonly use in lung cancer do affect these transporters and cause these false elevations. In terms of what does that mean and what we can do, Creatinine is, is a marker that's commonly used, but it's imperfect. There's other markers like cystatin C, which is also commonly available that a lot of our nephrologists use, but oncologists are perhaps not as familiar with. And that's not affected by these transporter interactions. So before we stop these medications, decrease the doses, um, we'd recommend checking a cystatin C to, to try to figure out, is this true kidney dysfunction or because of these transporter effects? 